Hello students, welcome to the another lecture of the engineering chemistry course. Before starting the today's class, just have the recap of the pre previous class. In the last class, we have started with the topic class of unit 4. In the topic class, we have learned about the definition and the introduction of the class various properties of glass which includes physical and the chemical properties of the glass. Then we have discussed about the raw materials required for manufacturing of the glass in which we have learned about the various type of raw materials which are used for the manufacturing of the glass. Then we had discussed about the manufacturing process of the glass which includes the tank furnace process for the manufacturing of the glass in which we have studied that manufacturing of glass is done in five steps first is the preparation of batch that is the preparation of the homogeneous mixture of all the raw materials second is the melting process which is carried out in the tank furnace third is the shaping fourth anneling and fifth last one is the finishing process so that's all about the topics which we have covered in our previous class now let's have a look of the topics which will be covered in the today's class in the today's class we are continuing with the topic glass and we will going to cover the various types of glass which includes soda lime glass, potash lime glass, lead glass which is also called the flint glass, borosilicate glass, safety glass or the laminated glass, glass wool or the fiber glass, photochromic glass and the wired or the reinforced glass. So first we are going to start with the soda lime glass or the soft glass which is also called as the ordinary glass. In our previous class also we have discussed about the soda lime glass. The general formula for the soda lime glass is Na2O Cal CaO dot 6 SiO2. The composition of the soda lime glass is 75% silica oxide, 16% calcium carbonate, 8% sodium oxide, 1% aluminium oxide, boron oxide, calcium fluoride and the magnesium oxide mixture. So this is the chemical composition of the ordinary glass soda lime glass. The properties of soda lime glass includes it is readily available and the cheaper in the cost, chemically inert, it has low melting point and resistance towards the water and the other chemicals and it also resistive towards the devitrification. Now uses of the soda lime glass. It is widely used for window glasses, cheaper tableware like bottles, jars etc. and cheap laboratory glasswares. Second is the potash lime glass which is also known as the hard glass. The hard glass is generally represented by the chemical formula K2O CaO dot 6 SiO2. This is the potash lime glass. The composition of potash lime glass includes oxide of potassium and the calcium. That means it is the mixture of the silicates of potassium and the calcium. Properties of hard glass. It possesses high melting point, thus can withstand at high temperatures. It is more harder, more costly and fused with difficulty, more resistive towards acids, alkalis and other solvent as compared to the soft glass. These qualities or properties are compared with the soda lime glass. Uses it is used in the chemical apparatus and the combustion tubes. Next one is the lead glass or the flint glass. The chemical formula of the lead glass or flint glass is K2O, PBO, 
डॉट सिक्स एस आई ओ टू द कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ द फ्लिट ग्लास इट इज प्रिपेयर बाय मिक्सिंग ऑफ लेड ऑक्साइड सिलिका एंड द पोटेशियम कार्बोनेट इट्स अप्रॉक्सीमेट कॉम्पोजिशन इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय के टू ओ पी बी ओ डॉट सिक्स एस आई ओ टू द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लिट ग्लास इज इट इज ब्राइट एंड द लस्ट्रेस due to its high refractive index which is due to the presence of the lead oxide this we have discussed in our previous class its softening temperature is low and the specific gravity is high in the range of the 3 to 33 uses of the flint glass it is widely used for making prism lenses and the other optical devices high quality tableware's art objects etc it is also used for making extra dense optical glasses for windows and shields to protect personnel from the gamma rays and the x rays in medical and the atomic energy field so this is the very important application of the flint glass next is the borosilicate glass pyrex glass or the zena glass synonyms are these composition of the borosilicate glass this is an optical glass that contains boron oxide alumina silica potassium oxide and the sodium oxide the composition of different components would be as silica oxide around 80.5% boron oxide around 13% aluminum oxide around 3% potassium oxide 0 to 3% and the sodium oxide 0 to 0.5% the properties of borosilicate glass includes it has high thermal coefficient of expansion high chemical resistance high softening point and excellent shock resistance uses of borosilicate glass it is widely used in industry for pipelines for corrosive liquids television tubes electrical insulator and the various type of kitchen wares which may be used in the microwave microwave ovens so these are the uses of the borosilicate glass or the pyrex glass next very important type of glass is the safety glass or the laminated glass basically the safety glass is made by taking two or three sheets of glass and in between them alternate thin layers of the vinyl plastic is introduced and slight pressure is applied now due to this pressure the sandwiched structure is heated and due to this pressure these layers becomes the single layer due to their merging because we are heated under this uh, heated all these layer in the slight pressure so these glass layers are intermixed with the vinyl plastic layers so all the layers merge into one another and fi finally formation of the laminated glass or the safety glass take in place properties of laminated glass the safety glass is quite tough it is shatter proof uses these properties make make it, make the laminated or the safety glass useful for various important purposes it is used as the wind shields in automobiles and the aeroplane industry and the several layered laminated glass is also the bullet proof so it is very useful in the bullet proof cars etc next is the glass wool or the fiber glass composition of the glass wool it is intermingled fine threads of the filaments of the glass it is totally alkali free glass properties it has low thermal and electrical conductivity resistance to heat fire and the chemicals its density is quite low in the range 63 kg per meter cube 
applications or the uses it is used in domestic and the industrial appliances like vacuum cleaner motors etc it is used for manufacturing fiberglass and it is also used for sound and electrical insulation so basically the fiberglass is formed by the intermingling of the fine threads or the filaments of the glasses next is the photochromic glass composition of the photochromic glass it is made from the borosilicate glass plus silver copper and a metal halide very important in ingredients are these properties it changes color in the presence of the high energy radiation usually in the presence of the ultraviolet radiations but reverts back to their original appearance in the absence of these radiations why it happens why color change happens because in presence of high energy radiations basically the electron present in these atoms metallic halide silver and copper undergoes in the transition and different in the different state this shows the different colors therefore when energy is uh, when there is the high energy radiations are present then energy transition in these metal ion takes place which provide color change to the glass now when the radiations are not there that means transition would not occur and if transition would not occur the glass is in its original color that is the reason that when sunlight or the uv radiation are present the glass changes its color now applications it is used for the manufacturing of the goggles now last is the wired or the reinforced glass composition during the casting of the glass sheet wire mesh of embedded at center of it basically this reinforced glass is used for the making of the fire resisting doors roofs windows and skylights because it is shatter proof and more fire resistance than the ordinary glass so these are some basic types of glass important type of glass are soda lime which is glass which is the ordinary glass which is widely used generally used glass is the soda lime glass then potash lime glass lead glass or the flint glass borosilicate glass laminated glass or the safety glass glass wool or fiber glass photochromic glass wired or the reinforced glass so these all are the types of the glasses okay now you must remember that the basic formula of the glass is this which we have discussed in our previous class also that the general formula of any type of glass is this right in which r is the monovalent atom m is the bivalent atom okay metal atom so if r is the sodium and m will be the calcium then type of glass will be the soda lime glass similarly when r is the potassium m is the calcium then glass will be the potash lime glass so the general formula in this case will be this so this is the formula of the potash lime glass and in this case formula will be this right 
so the important class of classes are the soda lime class which is the general generally ordinary use class borosilicate class which is used uh, in many type of kitchen wares as well as in the laboratory equipments uh, like uh, pipette test tubes purettes etc beakers etc okay and the safety glass are also very important type of the glass and potash lime glass is also known as the hard glass so these are some important types of glasses now today's question today's learning check question is the which polymeric material is used in the laminated glass remember laminated glass is prepared by various layers of the glass in between these layers of the glasses some polymeric material is layers of the some polymeric material is used now you have to answer the question that which type of polymeric material is used in between the glass layers okay so think for the answer of this question we will discuss in our uh, next live class till then take care and keep enjoy e learning at home okay thank you